Dave was talking about the opening match on SmackDown, which I thoroughly enjoy the opening match, the multi, the multi-man match. It was, if I can get to it here, Street Profits, Ray, and Dominic versus Ziggler, Rude, Chad Gable, and Otis. And all action, fun dives. And Dave made some comment about how, you know, if this were AEW, they'd be doing all sorts of crazy stuff. But it's WWE, and so, you know, they do the same pattern stuff. But it was good. That was what he said. And I thought, oh, man. These these uh, WWE fans are just freak out over this comment. Ah, Dave. Pay, payroll, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'd, I thought I'd read this to you from Jeff Hardy. You guys know who that is? He, yeah, is a, no, no. he is a WWE superstar. Currently, he is in WWE right now wrestling for them. Matt's brother. Yes. He said he was talking about Matt Hardy and how he's in WWE and Matt Hardy's in AEW. Jeff Hardy, WWE superstar, said, It's really cool. Matt is in AEW, and before the pandemic hit, their crowds were just incredibly on fire. It was so exciting watching them. They're very different than WWE. I don't know how to explain it, but they're, like, more open-minded. WWE is kind of set in their ways. It's changed many times over the years, especially since the Attitude Era. It's way different. Thank goodness, Jeff Hardy says, we don't hit each other in the head with chairs anymore, because I worry about that. It's a lot safer than that, etc., etc. But anyway, can you imagine if on this show I would have said, this AEW, they're very different than WWE. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like they're more open-minded. WWE is kind of set in their ways. Oh, man, the YouTube comments. People be flipping their lids. But Jeff Hardy said it here, and I guess we'll see if he gets any blowback on his Twitter. Doubtful. I'm sure he won't care if he does. And he's just speaking the truth. Whether you like it or not, WWE does things the way WWE does their things. And AEW is more open. Sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. But it makes it a lively show, doesn't it? That's the biggest problem with NXT. One, yes, they need stars, absolutely. But it's the feel of the show. It just it doesn't feel exciting. And with AEW, they're going to throw things against the wall. Some of those things, they're going to be great. Some of those things are going to be awful. Some of those things are going to be so awful that they'll end up being great, like Jade Cargill's debut or what you thought about Mackie Ito coming out and, and, and singing at the beginning, at least at the beginning. It was so ridiculous that it was it was crazy. You don't expect to see those things on NXT. There's no, there's no life there, and unfortunately, that's across all of their shows for the most part. You don't feel that something new is going to happen. There's no sense of adventure there, unfortunately. And what they try, they try, and they go back to the, the things that they know, sometimes very well. Look, they love a fish out of water type of situation. So with Shayna Baszler, with Nia Jax and, and, and Reginald, that was right up their alley, and you like that. And that's something WWE oftentimes does very, very well. But unfortunately, they also fall into the traps of their stories and who they believe could be a star. And the Andrade, all of the hullabaloo about that over the weekend made for some fun weekend banter for everybody as if WWE would ever release Andrade. But it's a situation where you look at what he could be doing on another roster anywhere, whether it be Ring of Honor, AEW, New Japan, in Mexico, wherever it is. And you see how WWE has viewed him. And you think about the same people that are in Andrade's little pocket right there, like Garza and Aleister Black, and guys like that, and you think about, man, they didn't have to be pushed to the moon, they don't have to be the world champion, but imagine if they actually built up some equity in these guys, imagine if they had some wins, imagine if they had even a a slight sliver of what Bobby Lashley got, you know, being protected, imagine where they could be right now, and some of the options that you could have, and they don't do that, and that's where AEW does think outside the box, and they do do things to try to benefit themselves and to try to draw in fans and to try to enliven their fans, whereas WWE doesn't much care about their fans, and I shouldn't say that. It's not that they don't care about their fans, but they're going to do what they're going to do no matter what, whether you like it or not. That's unfortunately the feeling they give off, whether they mean to or not. That's certainly what it feels like. 
Yes, Andrade asked for his release on Monday, and he was denied. So there you go. No surprise there, <laughs> you know. All right, why, so- why would they release him? Sorry for everybody out there. Of course, everybody would love to see him beat La Sombra again and back in LIJ and all that sort of stuff. But the reality of the situation is, why in the world would WWE ever release him? Why? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.